And when the sun comes up, we're going to see a beautiful shot of that dusting of snow over our mountains. But right now it's a little too dark. But here's a look at our Blue Ridge camera in the dark as we wait for the sun to come up at 712. All right, but we're definitely feeling that cold air that brought the snow. We're feeling frosty conditions, especially over our high desert community. So the Antelope Valley, the Victor Valley area under this frost advisory to about 9 a.m. The reason for that is because temperatures could get as low as low 30s in the Antelope Valley and then anywhere from mid to low 30s for the Victor Valley area, including Hesperia and frost can damage sensitive outdoor vegetation. So if it's not protected, uh, you can actually kill those plants. So be aware of that. If you're just now waking up, you want to go cover it up. You should do that. Here's a look at those temperatures. This is what I'm talking about. Why we have that frost advisory temperatures sitting at 30 degrees for Lancaster, 37 for Palmdale, 31 for the Wrightwood area, and then everywhere else in the lower elevations. Look how chilly it is. 49 for Burbank, 48 for Pasadena. Grab the coats and the long sleeves and the layers this morning, 53 for Fullerton, and then you can slowly shed them off by the afternoon. Afternoon because what we're watching for as we head into the afternoon will be below average conditions. We will have sunshine and it will be drier than what it was as we started the week off, but it will still stay cooler than normal, especially for this time of year. We get a bit of a break from that moisture and then by the time we head into the weekend, we're looking at another round of possibly more rain and mountain snow. So that's great news because we need the moisture, uh, but things are going to start to change as we head into the next few days. Take a look at our October temperature so far this month. We've had more above average days, 21 days to be exact. But the last couple of days we've been faring out cooler than normal with the blue squares as this system, multiple systems will pass to the north of us. For our downtown LA hour by hour forecast, you'll notice that we start to see those 70s once we get past the lunch hour. For Riverside, also getting into the 70s once we get past the lunch hour and into the second half of the day. Well, yesterday we did see a little bit of that rain here in Southern California. We saw anywhere from about a quarter inch or less, but it looks like we're going to see much more of the measurable rainfall once we head into this upcoming weekend. We could see anywhere from half an inch to three quarters of an inch for the coast and valleys. This is the reason why. The good news is for the kids on Halloween Thursday, it's going to be dry but a little cool. And then as we head toward Friday night, we start to see some rain moving in, but really rain likely as we head into Saturday, most of Saturday, wide spread and then by the time we head into Sunday morning the system is slowly pushing out by Sunday afternoon we are drying out and we will stay drier and then we slowly start to warm up as we head into the start of next week. Inland Empire you're looking at high today low 70s through tomorrow and then you can see once that system arrives that's when temperatures drop to the 60s and then for areas like the valleys mid 70s through Friday and then we're getting down to the upper 60s on Saturday. Back to you. All right Amber thank you.